Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. So I have had my Arctic Fox 992 for about two and a half years now. I bought it in August of 2020, used it on a couple trips that year, and then I've used it two full camping seasons, being summer of 2021 and then the summer of 2022. For the most part, I like it. There's just a few nitpicky things that I don't like about it. The first of which is probably at the top of my list, and that's the two skylights. One of them is in the bedroom, which is kind of annoying because the bedroom doesn't get a whole lot of heat anyway when you're camping in cold weather, but then you've got this big giant single pane skylight in the ceiling, which lets a lot of heat out. And then also in the summertime, it lets a lot of heat in. Then also we have the skylight in the main living area towards the back. And as you can see on that skylight, I've actually taken a piece of rigid foam board and cut it to fit in that skylight opening. I still need to do that for the skylight in the bedroom. The battery tray. I really hate the battery tray. It's a nice tray and all, but not really the best thing for this application. As you can see, when you slide it out, you can't get to the back battery to check the fluid level in it. And it raises the batteries up so high that it doesn't give you a whole lot of space to get in there and work on connections and whatnot. The switch for the outside light is right here next to the entrance to the bedroom. It's just a really bizarre place to have a switch for the outside light. I wish that switch was back by the door where it would be a lot more useful and easier to get to. Stereo also back here by the bedroom. That's not a very convenient place to get access to it and use it either. I wish that was somewhere in a more logical location. On certain models, this little flip out grab handle is absolutely useless. Let's show you why. So you flip it out, and look, it blocks your access to the door from the Fox Landing. You kind of got to shimmy around the outside of it. So I never use it. As far as I'm concerned, it's useless. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with those lights. There's one on the side of the camper and one on the back. Northwood Manufacturing has used those lights on a lot of truck campers, probably all of their truck campers for about the last five or six years, and a lot of their travel trailers too. And those lights, they're made by Optronics. They are so prone to failure. When I bought this camper in 2020, it was two years old, that light pretty much didn't work. I'd get one or two LEDs that would faintly light up sometimes, but most of the time they didn't. And it's a chore to replace those lights too. That little chrome bezel that you see on it, that pretty much gets destroyed when you pull it off of the light. The new lights do include a new one, but it takes some careful prying on that bezel to get it off so you don't damage the graphics on the camper or gouge the sidewall with whatever tool you're using to remove them. Between two different Northwood RVs that I've owned, this is the third light that I've had fail. The first one and the second one were both on a small Nash travel trailer that I had bought. One of those lights actually failed right out of the box. I've also got a video showing the five things I like the most about my Arctic Fox 992, so be sure to check that out in this link here.